This video is an excerpt from Tools for Mobile Email, a webinar hosted by Real Magnet and Comscore. We join Mitch Eisen, who is speaking about our new mobile web version. So what we will be introducing as part of this package is what we call the mobile web version. And let's think about what that is. So basically here I've got just a very simple email that I can show you. And I've created my email. I just happen to use a, a, a template just in the regular WYSIWYG editor. But this feature that I'm about to show you works with all of our templates. So I've created my email. right? And I, of course, I can preview that email and see what it looks like. Here it is in the template. Looks great, etc. But now, when someone gets that email at the top of that link, I want them to say, hey, if you're having trouble reading this email or if you want to read this on a mobile device, click here. And so what we've done is we've allowed you or enabled you to create what we call a mobile version. And again, it's important to know what this is, is the mobile version of the web page. It's not the email. The email is the email. The email goes out. But it's that link on top that allows people to view the web page in a more optimized way. So what does the mobile version do? As you can see when I click on it, it automatically strips out images and other complex HTML. And what we do is we give sort of that rendered um, content. We allow you to save it. And then I can preview it. And this is sort of what we're looking at here. We just give you kind of a, um, um, a way to view it. This obviously is obviously not a real phone. But this is the way that people might be viewing this content on a mobile device. And I think that looking at these tips here are very, very instructive. Now, we're going to talk in a little bit about some previews of how emails look and the different email clients. But at the end of the day, I'm sure many of you have already experienced this by going to web pages or emails and seeing them on mobile devices. If you think about it, the evolution thus far in terms of um, emails is when we first started out, there's sort of you know, text emails and basic HTML. And even up to recently, what people have been doing is honestly creating mini websites in the email. There's very complex things. Banners on tops, navigation on the side, rotating ads, things of that nature. And it's like I said, it's a little mini website in the email. But now with mobile, that is not really the optimal way for people to be consuming that content on a mobile device. And why is that? Well, first of all, you don't want them to have to scroll left and right. You don't want them to have to sort of squeeze in or squeeze out. So what we do is, at this point in time, as the technology is developing, sort of the optimized view of a web page on a mobile device is kind of limited images. Having, and as you can see here, there are no images, but all these links are active. So they can still click on these links and interact with it exactly as it was before. You want to use images sparingly. You don't want to have some huge banner at the top that on certain phones will, will force people to scroll left to right, or that it shrinks it so much that it's impossible to see. One of the biggest things, aside from the um, graphics, is the links. So if you think about some emails, they've got, let's say, a, um, um, a list of navigation pardon me, tools on the left. And almost imagine if these were all links. Now, if I'm on my iPhone and I happen to have big, you know, clumsy hands and I open that up and I try and click on one of those links, what's going to happen? I am more than likely going to click on one that I'm not interested in just because they're too close in proximity together. So going back here, what we do is we take your actual email. This is where I have images and you can see here that we have the template. We strip out the template. We take out the images. And we provide you with the text. Now, that's not to say that you yourselves cannot actually modify this and add text to it or whatever that may be. You can do anything with that and, and design it anyway. So what this is is the mobile web version of the email. And that is when people click on that link at the top of the email, it says to view this in a, in a web browser or to view this um, on a mobile device, click here. And here's what's really cool about it. If you create this mobile web version, the system is smart enough to detect where that recipient is coming from. So let's think about that. If I'm a recipient and I'm sitting at my computer and I get that email and for whatever reason I want to click on that, I don't want to see it in my email client, I want to view it on the screen. I click that link, Real Magnet can detect, hey, that person is coming from a computer. Show them the classic or the regular web version. Alternatively, 
someone is sitting there on their iPhone and clicks. If you want to view this in a web browser or mobile, click here. When they click, it's, ah, this person is coming from a mobile device. Do not show them the classic version. Rather, show them the optimized web version for mobile. And that's what's really great about this. You don't have to, you have to create the mobile web version. Is it a little extra work? Sure. But if you want to make your, the experience better for all the recipients, it's a great thing to do. And so how is that done essentially? Like I said, you simply click on the mobile version. We strip out all the text just like we do with the text version and give you the tools to um, um, create that mobile web version. And then for all of you that may or may not know, the web version is managed here in the tool section. And as you can see here, I've just simply changed the language. Click here for web or mobile version. And you can say whatever you want um, on there. If you're having difficulty reading this email, click here. If you want to view this in a mobile device, click here. Whatever that text that you think best will uh, make your recipients respond, you can put there. And then obviously, obviously, this automatically, this link automatically gets appended at the top of every email that goes out. And now you have an optimized view for people who want to click on that and get that content on a mobile device. So with this aspect here, we think it is an absolute no-brainer well, that, that for every email, and I'll say it here, I know it's going to be hard for people to fall through, for every email that you create, my recommendation is you should create that mobile web version for it. There's no harm. There, there, it doesn't affect your um, recipients in any way except for the positive. There's slightly extra work. You have your email. You have to click on it. You have to do some minor editing and save it, and away you go. Nothing else to do. And what it does is it provides an added level of sophistication to your email marketing campaign. As we said before, as some of those metrics indicated, there are a lot of people viewing it on mobile devices. Some of them may want to view that in their email client. Some of them may want to click on a link and view it as a web page. When they do that, we can automatically detect if they're coming from a mobile device and you've created a mobile version, show them that. So once again, it's a, it's a great tool. It absolutely improves the experience for your recipients. And quite honestly, I think it also shows the sophistication on your part as email marketers that you're in tune with this changing technology and are providing them with a very positive experience.